welcome back to Topless Baker. This week, we are not in my kitchen. I'm joined by the lovely Tom Daly. Tom, thank you for having us. No, thank you for coming all the way down to London to oh, film with me. Very excited, but there's just one issue before we get going. Yeah. I hope you don't mind, but I think we need to get you topless. I mean, I've never been shy about getting topless, have I? Okay, should we do it? <laughs> sure do it. thing. Okay. As if by magic. As if by magic. <laughs> I mean, we can make things happen here. Okay, well, good. Not, I was going to say the top of the kitchen, but it's not. No. So today, we are cooking something from your book. Yes, we which are. Which was a great read. I enjoyed making this before I came. I did I test it, it, I promise yeah, you. Yeah, no, I've tested it a few times too, and it's sometimes can go a little bit weird. But That's stay right, but with tasty. it. Yeah, tasty. Tasty stay with weird. It. We're yeah, happy yeah. with that. So this is Tom's book, Tom's Daily Plan, and we're going to make the... Hot cheesecake, which you're calling like the best hot cheesecake, right? It's because I have a terrible sweet tooth and it is a little bit of my nemesis, particularly cheesecake. So try to make a slightly healthier version of it. And it's also like a little portion, so you can't feel too guilty about it. I love it. And this is great because like you're going to tell me what to do and I yeah. can just listen. So how are we going to start? What have we got? Well, we've got the digestive biscuits or you can use, you know, your favourite biscuit brands. Okay. And then I'm just going to smash it up in here. But while that's smashing up, we might need to melt the butter ready to okay, get into so the... Okay, so I'm melting, all right? Yeah. I'm going behind here. Give Although it's always up. awkward when you go to a new kitchen about how to use someone's microwave, so I'm, let's see if... I hope I it. know how to use it. Right, here we go. I'm going to go start. No! No! I got it wrong. There we go. You got a timer going. I'm going to do that. Start. No. 800. Oh, start. start. There you go. 24 seconds, that'll do. <laughs> all right, I'm, right, I'm going to smash that bowl. I I'll know. Spill the biscuits everywhere. I've been given the responsibility of smashing the biscuits in case I smash the actual bowl. I didn't want to break Tom's bowl. And we actually just filmed a video on Tom's channel as well, which you need to check out, which is like flying onto your screen somewhere. We made a pretty tasty, healthy cheesecake. So more like healthy goodness, but we did a little Christmasness on it as well. Oh, we're done. Right, so our butter is melted after I worked out how to use your spaceship and a microwave. <laughs> microwave, exactly. How are your bashing going? Yeah, bashing's gone good, and now we've all got like nice little fine mixture. I think mixture. my favourite part of a cheesecake is the buttery biscuit base. Yes. Literally. Have you seen that video? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm of course, everyone has. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I'm pouring this in? Yes. I don't want to do anything wrong. Yeah, just pouring I'm it pour in, in, and I'm going to like just mix it around. You're going to have a little mixy mixy. I can make just sure. eat that straight. Yeah, it's I know. so tasty. It's the best bit. Sometimes if you put like sugar in the base as oh, well, if you want an extra it. bit of a treat. Stop. But we're doing healthy-ish, so <laughs> you know we're gonna stick to just having the butter and the biscuits. Right. Do you ever get lots of people in your comments talking about biscuits and how they're not biscuits in their cookies? Oh, they get confused between the two, yeah. Yeah. Quite a lot. All the time. All the time. How's right. that looking? I really want to taste Good. it, but I won't. I'm <laughs> so we're now going to stick it in ramekins. Exactly. So we're going to put, you know, half of the mixture into one ramekin and half Don't into the other. The biscuit, actually, I know. By the way. But as you can see, it looks like there's a lot of biscuit. But I do have a little tip to try and squish it down. No, I'm going to say like this is like half biscuit right now. I know. I want to see what genius idea we've got. So I normally what I do is I get a glass and just shove it into the. Oh, that is. It fits perfectly. So it packs it. And then right. you get like dense biscuit base. Yeah, it? exactly. Oh, and it doesn't oh. come apart and it all sticks together. Genius. Genius. Do the same with this one. Right, so that's all squished in there. I'll give you that to right. put into the I'll sink. Clean. I'll do the dishes. Yeah, you can do the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so what have we got to get onto now? The egg. The egg. So we've got to separate the egg yolk and the egg white. All right. And then I'm going to combine some of the other ingredients and you're going to be whisking. Okay, but you got me an electric whisk, right? I do, yeah. Do I have to use it or should I do it by hand? That is completely up to you. Come on, let's do it by hand. I feel like... I mean, I you've got the arms for it. I, so you're I feel like I need to impress you, so I'll do it by hand. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to separate the egg. I owe you a yolk, I believe. <laughs> yes, you do. All right, if I mess up your yolk, I will tell you. Yeah, no worries. Here okay, we we're going to get a yolk. We're going to get a yolk. Great egg Look, separation. Great there. egg separation skills. Yes. And then what else are you adding in? What's like the flavour? So I'm going to be adding in a little bit of honey, honey here. If it pours. If it's going to pour. <laughs> I might have to use this spoon to try and get everything out. And so that's like a really good sweetener, but you're not using sugar basically. Exactly. Okay, so honey's a sweetener. 
And then vanilla, obviously very important, because it's a vanilla baked cheesecake then. Yes, exactly, okay. a vanilla baked cheesecake, because like New York cheesecake is one of my favorites, but I wanted to try and make it slightly healthier. Okay, I got you. So, and then we've got some corn flour that's gonna go in. So that's gonna like thicken things up a exactly. little bit. Exactly. All right. And then we've got the cream cheese that is gonna go in. Let's see, oh, oh. it went in easily. It's a good thing you got an apron on that side. <laughs> all over you. Exactly. All right, I'm like nervous about whisking the egg white. So I need to whisk to stiff peaks? Yes, yep. exactly. Oh man, I'm gonna be here forever. You're gonna be here for a long time. And it's only one egg yolk, it's gonna take me forever. <laughs> the last time I did that, my arms were so sore. So good luck. Here we go. <laughs> So now that all those ingredients are whisked together, I'm gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So there's half a teaspoon. And then I'm going to add the other half teaspoon and give it all a mix together. That looks good. I'm still whisking. <laughs> You're I'm gonna be there for whisking. a long time. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Right, so we're finished whisking. I'm gonna go have a nap, Tom, because I'm so tired. <laughs> I bet your arm is dead. And we've got like <laughs> stiffish peaks. Yeah, I'd say they're stiff peaks. Yeah, you happy with my peakage? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Tom. Right, I'm handing this over to you. I'm going okay, to good. your bedroom to have a sleep. So we're gonna, <laughs> yeah. do, we're gonna fold the meringues and give it really like light and airiness, right? Yes, exactly. So we're gonna put half of the egg whites in first. Okay. So just to be able to fold it into the mixture. I'm really excited to see your folding action. Yeah, it doesn't, you know, I, I, feel, I feel like judged now by yeah, like a, you know, I'm an actual heavy. baker. I can't believe you whisk them by hand, by the way. I that do is... it on my channel sometimes, I'm like crying. <laughs> I just can like imagine. Blo there's bloopers of me just like, <sighs> but it's all right, I felt good about that. I feel like I've done my workout for the day. Right, that's all folded in now. Okay, that looks really good. So now I'm gonna move our pots out of the way. We've got our two biscuit bakes. What color do you wanna be, blue or yellow? I'll be yellow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then you're just gonna tip it on top. Yes, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try and spoon the first bits in, just to try and get it so it goes into the middle. I like that's like organised. I like that. I'm not just going. And make sure that I get in. enough in each one, because I do that sometimes when I make cupcakes. I run out of mixture for the last <laughs> ones. So when you put these into the oven, they are going to like lift up and look like a, a bit of a mountain, and they might crack. But when you okay. bring them out, they're gonna cool and then they're all gonna like flop down again. Okay, so, so if, we th if right. you think it's failed, don't panic because it hasn't failed. Exactly, and to get it like nice and flat and even, all I do is just tap it onto the side and it'll... Right, we're gonna get a baking tray now, put the ramekins into it, and then put it in the oven, which we've preheated 170 or 150 fan. And they're gonna be in there for 30 minutes. Amazing, see you in 30 minutes. Yeah. And now they are done. Oh, you can kind of see what I mean by like the mountain bit that goes on top, but they do collapse nicely. And of course I've got my Union Jack. No, like, I need like a black topless bacon. On <laughs> yeah, that. you do, exactly. You could get like an orange finger, like a handprint on it. We should make it happen. One of those like spoon hands. Yes. I like it. So but to yes. decorate, you said raspberries and chocolate. Yes. Yeah. Do you like sprinkle the chocolate on top? Do we? I like to just like smash the chocolate into like shards and okay. then like just stick it in wherever and then mad, like put a couple of raspberries on top just okay. to make it look pretty. There you go. Right, so let's give it a smash. There you go. That was very clean considering you just smashed everywhere. Okay. Yeah. So now we've got the chocolate shards, I just stick it into the bits where it's kind of collapsed a little bit so that you don't break too much of the surface. Look at it like melting in as well. I know, you're gonna get a little bit of chocolate into the middle of it. I'm gonna put some into this one too. Oh. Oh my, and I'm just gonna like eat some chocolate as we go. Of course, you know, that's part and parcel. Oh of it, really. yeah. And then we've got some raspberries as well that we can just plop into the middle and put wherever, maybe a couple on this one. Bit of fruit. Bit of fruit. Keep add it to the Exactly. And then we've got our finished Cheesecakes. So that was quick as well. Yeah. And I'm like salivating at the thought yeah. of eating these. What do we want? Spoon, fork, hands? <laughs> yeah, just hands. I reckon, oh, I've got some spoons here. Okay, let's go. Spoon. I reckon spoons is probably the, he says he's got spoons. Right. Okay, so we've got a couple of spoons. Okay. I'm nervous now. And they might be really hot because they've just come out. <laughs> so, because you can see literally the chocolate melting as it goes, but. Oh my goodness. This is like my dream. 
Right, of course. It's like going everywhere. I'm going for it. Josh, I want to get the base. Mm, the I want to get the base. It's hot. Oh, Tom. It's Wait, good though, right? right? It's really good. Considering it's like no sugar in it. No, I'm well, not added even, sugar. I'm not even lying. Like like, I'm not even pretending. It's genuinely really. You're not just doing a YouTube collaboration saying it's 100%. really good. Like, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Good. Right, so I'm gonna do one last bite. Me too. <laughs> it won't be my last bite. <laughs> that is seriously the best hot baked cheesecake I've ever. Oh, it's so good. A hot cheesecake is like I think if people think it's weird having a hot cheesecake when actually. They're really good to have like straight out the oven and have it as like a warm dessert instead of a cold one. I totally agree. I think you might have converted me. I nearly started eating yours then. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for having me in your kitchen, Tom. This was a revelation for me and I'm excited to leave Anytime. and go make it again. Good. Um, but it was a pleasure. And don't forget to subscribe to Tom's channel. You can also check out the video that we did on Tom's channel, which was also really good. And it wasn't a baked cheesecake. It was like a healthy cheesecake. Um, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe to Thomas Baker and I will see you guys next week. Bye.